David Lynch has always been kind of an enigma, a very private person, private celebrity, um, and oftentimes misunderstood. Everybody thinks he's a quite, must be strange or you know, weird. Uh, but I had gotten to know, through making Lynch one, a, a, a different side, and um, we wanted to sh show more of the real David. Mm -hmm. We went ahead and made the film when it was finished. We showed it to him, and he was said, "Okay, that's fine." We were, we were. I was nervous, you know. I think we were all nervous that perhaps David would say, "Oh, this is out, off limits. This is off limits." But when he saw the film, he, he said everything was fine. He trusted us for the most part. He made some suggestions. Of course, being David Lynch, we're going to take his suggestions seriously. Uh, one of them was he wanted the lithograph that you saw at the very end. He wanted that to be at the very end to close off the film. So we put the lithograph there, and then he made some suggestions for, you know, to use certain pictures for his mom as opposed to others, things like that, or pictures of his dad, use the right pictures for his parents. But uh, the content wise, he did make. Well, he, yeah, I guess he wanted. There was one edit where we talked a lot about his grandparents also, and he was very happy with that. But when it came to the final edit, we kind of cut out his grandparents because it, it was getting, it was weighing down the story too much. Was, we wanted to kind of keep this. Oh yeah, a lot. It was 25 hours worth of uh, interviews. And what you hear probably is only maybe one hour. So there's a lot of great stories, a lot of great stories that didn't make it. Um, no, I mean, f when we were filming it, mostly David was just work. he was in the studio painting. So, I mean, for two and a half years, that's, we just watched him paint. <laughs> Which is fascinating, you know, to see how he chose, like, looked for colors and how he cleaned up after himself and all that. That was very interesting, but of course it didn't make it into the film. I think, uh, yeah, I think the most important thing I've learned from him is attention to detail. David is very, when he wants to go for a certain mood, he, he doesn't just do it quickly and get to that mood. He, he keeps working and fixing and fine-tuning things until he gets to that mood that he wants to capture. Sometimes it can take a long time, you know. As a filmmaker, sometimes we rush through things because, you know, you want to kind of get onto the next thing, but uh, he'll, he'll keep working and working until he I think he gets it just right. And I've learned a lot from the being patient like that. He takes his time. Sometimes he gets it right quickly, and other times, uh, um, yeah, it takes longer. Even with his painting, you know, he he's not on the schedule. He does things at his own pace. Mm -hmm. A lot of, I think, when you're 70 years old, you're probably going to be spending a lot of time by yourself. You're not out whining and dining and hanging out with your friends. The older people I know. In my life, they, they're kind of you know, more settled. They're like, I, I think when I'm 70, I'm going to be like David, just you know, spending a lot of time alone. And I think at that point, you're comfortable. Doing, you're, you're on a, comfortable with yourself and doing your own thing.